Hey YouTube, welcome back to my animal house. We're down here in the hide and uh, I'm doing a little bit of snake maintenance and uh, on the rodents too as well. And uh, I kind of want to go over a few things about um, water. You know, um, I think people under, or don't think about water enough. You know, as far as being clean water, fresh water, um, cleaning out the bowls, I, I just don't think, I see a lot of videos where I don't think there's enough maintenance as far as water. I know the more and more, the bigger your collection gets, it's harder and harder to maintain the little things, but little things like water is huge. Water is like one of the most powerful substances in the world, and you know, and I think we should respect it more as far as what we're putting into our animals and drinking water and that kind of thing. I would definitely never, you know, like have water in a cup or something and leave it there like this right here, which is my little experiment that I'll show you here in a little bit. But you know, if it was sitting there for three days, I'm not going to walk out and drink it. That's kind of gross, you know. So uh, I, I try to keep the water in for my rats, mice, and, and snakes as well, and irrigons water and everything. I try to keep it as fresh as I possibly can. That's one of my huge pet peeves. And um, we're going to go over some of the things that I do and how I go about cleaning for the water changes and that kind of thing. And um, and I'm also going to show you how I set up my snake tubs and uh, for for uh, for my rack. And I use paper towels, and we'll kind of go over that kind of thing and make this a fun video. So hope you enjoy. And here we go. everybody I'm up here at the water bin for the mouse rack and it's just a big five gallon bucket and I like to clean it out too so I'll take it all and dump the water out wipe it all out on the inside and put fresh water in it bring it back but um I got this rack from TGR and this is the water system that comes with it and it's really easy all you gotta do is just turn this little valve and this thing pops right off and then you can take this off and and uh go put some fresh water in it so uh, I'll just do that all right I need jugs for the rats here I just kind of take them upstairs and I rinse them out with hot water when I clean the other bowls so I just kind of stick everything in that water jug there and I'll install it out later and bring them back full of clean water. Alright, so I'll be back when everything's cleaned up and uh, all the bowls are good and I'll be back to talk about my little experiment in the water bowl. All right, everybody, and, and as far as the, the setting up my tubs, this is kind of going to be really short. The only reason why I'm showing this part in the video is because, to me, like, changing the water and all that stuff, it kind of goes along with changing the paper towels and that kind of thing, if you use paper towels. If you use other substrates, you don't have to change it as often, but with the paper towels, you do. But me, I use these great big, thick um, blue paper towels. They're in the automotive section. Um, I ain't tell you the brand name or nothing because there's no sponsor going on here. <laughs> but I use these because they absorb really well and they're really thick and durable. But the way I set them up for the tubs with the water dishes is what I do. And it kind of works out pretty good. I just fold them in half right here. And then I just kind of cut out a little half moon. Boom. And then when I do it, it leaves a little hole for the, um, the water dish. So then I'll, I'll get the... The tray up here and I'll show you how I set that up and uh, I'll tell you about that uh, water bowl in the beginning all right all right everybody here we are at a snake tub I just kind of want to give you um I've seen this in a couple videos so I wanted to share it in one of my videos so then my subscribers if anybody does have snakes in these tubs it'll help you out so when you're cleaning out these tubs of course um, when you're changing your water <laughs> um, if you got an old spoon just any old spoon you can get in the corner here to these the urates and all that in the corner man it really peels it off like way good I don't have like a big glob like I usually do anywhere but for the sake of video that's enough and with this spoon it's cool because this uh, with this exact spoon anyway it's rounded and then the, um, the end is rounded too so it's a little bit littler so if I could need to get into somewhere a little smaller that works so having an old spoon around when you're cleaning these tubs is just amazing so now uh, I just use a little disinfectant um, I'll put what kind of disinfectant up on the screen bang and um, just kind of let it sit for a couple minutes
And then basically I just kind of wipe everything out with a paper towel. I'll finish wiping this out and then uh, we'll uh, get back to this video. All right, so now the tub's all cleaned out. And basically the reason why I wanted to break out the tub like this and kind of show you my little experiment with the water dish. Now this water dish is not the water dish that was in with the snakes. Um, even though it's probably cleaner than some that I've seen in some videos. But um, we're going to slap it in there, especially with these gray containers. Now if you look at that here, let me lower this down and get right in there. If you look at that, it looks perfectly clean. It looks like there's nothing wrong with that water, even if you wanted to top it off or something like it doesn't. It doesn't need to be, but if you did, you just throw a little water in there and you never think twice about it. And that's what a lot of people do, which is all right too. It's not you know that bad, but there is what happens is, is you get this pink slime that grows in there. I'll put the scientific name up at the top of the screen, and um, it's just gross. <laughs> if you let that slime build up too much, and then it, if your snake's like. Let's just say if your snake's unhealthy for another reason or what are your rodents or, or just uh, not very well in health. If they're really healthy, it doesn't affect them as much. But let's say if you've got some kind of respiratory infection or something like that and they drank out of this bowl, it would automatically just make it way worse. The bacteria that grow in that pink stuff, they cause all kinds of like um, urinary infections and just all kinds of stomach gastro problems and just it, it's just basically just gross. If you, if, even if you touch it when you're cleaning out the bowls, you should wash your hands. You know, and especially this day and age, everybody sanitizes and stuff, so everybody's immune system isn't like it used to be. So uh, everybody's more sensitive to a lot more things than I would say back in the day. I'm one of them guys that drank irrigation water. I'm still alive. But anyway, <laughs> it's the sake of the animals. It's, I just want them to, to have clean water. You know, if you're outside and it's hot and you get an ice cold glass of water, it's just the most refreshing thing ever. So, and it's the same thing for the animals. They feel the same way. When, when I put crisp, clean water in there, um, especially the rats, when I, if I just top off their containers, it, they don't really care. But if I take them upstairs and I actually clean them out and put fresh, cold water in there, they drink like crazy. So I like to do it a lot because they love the cold water and it's fresh and, and it's just good for them. So now is what I want to do with this, uh, this little container here to show you this pink slime, the nasty stuff. And uh, let me grab some wine paper towels. This where you can really see. I, I mean, the, the bowl looks really clean. And then if you take this bad dog and you clean it out, see, I don't know how well you can see it on there. I guess it didn't build up as much, but you can see that pink tint to it. And that pink tint, yeah, you can see it right there really well. With that pink tint is that bacteria. It's actually disgusting. And if you let that build up too much, and like I said, and if your snake is sick or something from something else, or and if it gets bad enough, it could just make them sick. So it's like, you know, just one more step to keep your animals healthy and clean is uh, clean your water bowls. Always clean your water bowls. Even if you just wipe them out with a paper towel like that and rinse them out with a little bit of water and then wipe them out again is good. Don't clean them. You don't need to take soap and water and all that. Maybe a little disinfectant, squirt it in there, clean it out, rinse it out a little bit, bang, you reuse the water bowl again, everything's all good. But it's just to show you that, you know, that water looked really clean, and that paper towels are just pink and nasty, and it's just gross. So please, everybody, change your water. Keep your containers clean, your animals will be happy, and they'll thank you for it. So, uh, let me zoom back out a little bit, and up. And then, uh, remember the paper towel, how I cut it? I usually just fold the back a little bit and it fits in there pretty good, but you just put it right over the hole, put the paper towel down in there, and bang. And then it's all clean and ready to go. I usually do this once or twice a week, depending on how much they go to the bathroom. At least once a week they get new uh, paper towels no matter what, sometimes twice a week. Water bowls get cleaned twice a week. Once just get wiped out, twice get cleaned. And then when they get really bad, I, you know, just from cleaning them over and over and over again, I just replace them. So uh, that's my tips and tricks on the cleaning the water bowls and keeping them clean. And uh, just my opinion on the whole keeping water and fresh water for your animals and it makes them healthier and happier. So hopefully this all helped you and uh, here we go. We'll get all these uh, water bowls filled up and get everybody's water going. Oh, I just want one more tip too is like these little nozzles for the um, for the um, the rat water, the, the drinking deals. They get this gunk on the end of them. See that? Let's see if you can see it better. 
But anyway, just make sure to clean all that gunk off of there. It's just gross on the ends. And there's a little washer inside of there. I don't know how well you'll be able to see the washer. There we go. Just pull that washer out, clean inside of there, and flush this out with hot water every now and then to keep that really nice and clean too because bacteria will grow in there way just nasty underneath that uh, washer in there. So make sure to keep that clean too. And uh, here we go. Thanks for watching. All right, everybody, I hope all the little helpful little hints and tricks, I hope all that, you know, helps you, reminds you of, you know, to keep your water bowls cleaner and, um, or, you know, if you already do, that's cool. I'm not trying to knock on everybody. Everybody's got their thing. This is mine. I just wanted to share it with you. Some people don't even think about cleaning out the water bowls. So hopefully this video helped. I just want to say from my animal house and from the high, take care and stay wild.